Ever go to a sporting event, you're sitting perched high atop the bleachers, and there are all those empty seats right up front? It happened to two local men, but instead of sitting there and accepting their fate, they decided to do something about it. News 12's Chandra Bill joins us live now to explain. Chandra? Liz, thank you. Those two guys were federal prosecutors. They gave up their jobs to pursue a niche they feel isn't being filled in sports arenas. And what's ironic is, even though they're changing professions, they're still going after the bad guys. This time, the ticket scalpers. Wait for your ticket. Okay. Tom O'Malley was with the U.S. Attorney's Office for 13 years, then spent five years with the state of Florida. His partner, Howard Dargan, has 15 years as a government lawyer. So what are they doing at Roger Dean Stadium in Jupiter, taking tickets on kids' shark patrol night? Write this one down. They're testing admissioncontrol.com. The shark patrollers were issued cards and then registered on the Internet as season ticket holders. This enables season ticket holders to resell their seats or transfer transfer them easily mm -hmm. and then it allows the ordinary fan to buy them on the internet for face value without having to go through a scalper right. let's go, Lottie, go deep, Lottie. as an ordinary fan all you have to do is go to the admission control website register and you can get a season ticket holder seat transferred to any card you have that has a magnetic strip i just slipped the card in and then what happened i want something <laughs> That's the advantage to the ballpark or stadium. We can identify who you are. So we're going to greet you by your name. We're going to tell you what number of games uh, you've been to. And like uh, the, what they have here in the stadium is a reward, pro reward program for people who are using the system. The biggest advantage is to the average fan, like me. I can get a season ticket holder's front row seat without having to pay exorbitant prices to a broker or a scalper. And the players have got to love having their fans this close. <laughs> So, the teams benefit by filling the seats, the fans benefit by getting good seats, and of course AdmissionControl.com benefits by charging a service fee, which Tom says is still far less than the scalper would charge. Now, each sports venue would have to subscribe to AdmissionControl.com and get the necessary equipment in order for this to work on a wide scale basis, but if it takes off, it could mean no more waiting in ticket lines for big events, being able to get those tickets at a reasonable cost, and just maybe being close enough to the plate to actually get an autograph from Mark McGuire. Liz? 